Hello and welcome to my let's play on The Search. This is a Dark Souls type game made by the people that made Lords of the Fallen, which was also a Dark Souls type game. Uh, I quite enjoyed it back in the day. I actually did a let's play on it, like 2014 or something that was released uh, a little while back. But I, I enjoyed playing that game. Um, it was considered a little bit easier than Dark Souls. I mean, I think I died like four or five times in the, in the entire run. And uh, I think most of those were from falling to my death. But the search, I've heard things uh, that this in some areas is harder than some of the Dark Souls games. So that's going to be very interesting. Without any further ado, why don't we just get started? The ancient Greeks once said, A society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. We tend to forget about this, tend to be careless, but we have to rise to the task together. It's up to all of us to sow those seeds, and it's up to us to nurture them towards growth. Creo is not just another company. With Project Resolve, we are building the path to the future. Follow us into a new era, a utopia for all mankind. With every launch, we're healing our planet, restoring its natural shield. A return to the green world we remember, where our children can once more play in the sun. Resolve is not only revitalizing the Earth, but its people, too. We've all dreamed of it, and now Creo is making it a reality. Together, we're strong. Together, we can make a change. Unleash your potential with us. Welcome. I know you're glad to be here. I am, and I'm glad to see you. Creo, you know who we are, or at least you think you do. Everywhere you turn, we're there, whether you see us or not. Maybe it's time to take a closer look. Creo is one of the world's largest manufacturers of consumer and industrial products, but we're so much more, and that's why you're here. At Creo, we're always reaching for the stuff. only wants to change the world, Project Resolve, we aim to save it. There's no divide here. At Creo, we're all in this together. So welcome to your new life as part of the Creo family. What a warm welcome. Final stop. Russo Station. All right. Exit to the right. And here comes the interesting part. We're in a wheelchair. Right. So we've arrived at uh, what Russo Welcome Station. To Creo. Thank you. That's We're so kind of you. Why are there? Maybe we should connect family. that. Please proceed directly to registration. There's a lot of um, loose wires here. I uh, I will say I've only played about. 15 minutes or so just to see if everything worked properly. I haven't actually played too far, but yeah, the wheelchair part's pretty funny. The way they don't show that until you have to start moving. And no, you don't go very fast on this. <laughs> I was kind of hoping we just go straight down, but nope. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad Creo thinks that. Oh, here you can see, it's a wheelchair area. Please choose from our two currently available positions and form an orderly queue. Orderly queue. You yeah, let's... will receive your personal work gear voucher after registration. All those other people waiting in line too, damn. Uh, right, so we have a choice here, basically. 
um, between light armor and heavy armor. So I did a little bit of reading. Well, I mean, it's not like I really went in depth on this, but apparently, that's very cool. By the way, you can use like super tricks and shit. Anyway, apparently, uh, the Lynx uh, light armor gear is very easy to get early on in the game. So I'm gonna go with the heavy one because I can get that one anyway. It doesn't really. It, it's just your starting gear, basically, is as, as a tiny difference. Uh, but I do eventually probably want to stay light gear-ish because I want to be able to move around quick and all that. But yeah, brute persistent rhino. Save tomorrow today as a hef heavy operator. And that one's a tactical something, I believe. Oh no, a field technician. There you go. Are we not wearing shoes? Oh, we are. All right. Anyway, let's get in here. Hello. If you believe you can move mountains, Creo has the job for you. Because as a heavy operator, you can literally do that. Pure power. Relentless performance. Nothing can hold you back. Are you ready? Then join us as a heavy operator and save tomorrow today. Save tomorrow today? What, she's like Donald Trump or something? Anyway, let's do this. Rig installation program running. Program complete. Patient sedated. Initiating surgery. All right. You have been designated for disassembly. We've been de designated for disassembly, right? So we can use a, a heal right away. Well, we have to. You'll see contact activated. Yay! I think we can actually immediately use those, right? So we got some implants available. Um, this one we can't use right now. This one's already equipped. This is basically our heal. So we have three heals um, available to us, I believe. Something like that. I, can't, I, I I haven't played enough to really figure this out yet either. But anyway, it heals uh, for 80 apparently. Um, it takes free core power consumption. It doesn't actually say how many heals we have, but I'm not sure exactly how it works. And then we have this um, proximity sensor, which triggers a sound when items are near. So we can't actually equip them. I'm just going to put that over here. Uh, and we have nothing else. We have uh, a weapon, a reclaimed piston. And we have our organizer here with our quest stuff. But yeah, anyway. Um, we gotta kill this dude. It's just kind of tutorialing us right now how to do specific attacks and such. So that one's dead. That was, that was easy enough. Right, there's one over there right as well. So I, every attack and action comes through stamina, so watch your stamina meter. So we have horizontal attacks and vertical attacks. Oh, and there's an item nearby. That's the noise. It's very fucking annoying, by the way. I don't think we can get to it right now. We'll have to get it in a minute. <laughs> but yeah, it just does that constantly. Hey, you asshole. Have, like the school sliding attack and stuff. There's something over here. Press A to dodge. Okay, we, we, we can do that, I think. 
Oh, there you can see uh, underneath our hit, po hit points and stuff, there's like a little icon with a B next to it. That's our heal. So it says we have two heals available. I love that. Oh, God. Fucking ambushed. Okay, so blocking actually consumes stamina over time. Good to know. So you can see the stamina bar go down right now. All right. There was an item up here. I'm not sure if we can get to it from here. We can. Oh, wrong button. All right, we got one small pile of rare material scrap. Sounds bloody fantastic. Piles of tech scrap can be consumed from within your inventory to instantly provide you with new tech scrap. Okay, so it's a pile that goes into... It's like a grade of soul and stuff. Hold LB to block attacks. But first, let's grab this item. Some uh, Mark 1 items. Pneumatic Helix and something else. Is that... Wait, oh. Are those... What, what is that? What does it mean? We have consumables. Tax scrap. 600 tax scrap. Okay. So I guess we want to keep... All right. And this is a uh, used to assemble leg gear and used to assemble arm gear. Okay. So I guess we can create that later. All right. Let's, this guy's going to jump at us. Get him out of here. Rocket yard. All right. Let's see. I feel like there was another bit of gear over here somewhere. This has to be something up here, right? They wouldn't let you go all the way over here. Oh, shit! There's enemies! Oh, what? I didn't think he was going to be able to get up there. Oh my god, what's... This guy's got a lot more HP, and he's got a friend who's got a fucking laser. Oh, he didn't even reach me. Alright. Uh, but he's got a friend, though. Oh, shit, he's got two friends! Oh, what? What is this place? Is this my split? I don't I think I'm... Well, I didn't go this way last time. I could tell you that much. But I feel like maybe I shouldn't go here. But then again, maybe I can get some crazy rewards or something for doing this. Yo, can I get another dude up here, please? Stop shooting at me, you little ass. I feel like this is a terrible idea. I'm gonna die before I even get to... Uh, you, can you come up here? You go on, jump. Jump to jump. Don't shoot me. I assume this, this doesn't hit me. Oh, I pressed the wrong button, like an idiot. Oh, what is that? That can't be good. Oh god, I'm being shot. Oh, my stamina is super low. Alright, I definitely don't want to... Oh, heal! Is this guy dying at all? We can't see his health HP bar yet. Okay, one more left. I'm not even sure if he can block the ranged attacks. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, that's not... Oh, you can dodge him, though. That's pretty good. Oh, shit. Ow, that still hurt me. Oh, it reduced my stamina or something. Oh, we got him. Alright. We only got one heal left, though. There's an item nearby, at least. It's not in this direction. Alright, it's over here. Yeah, this is what I saw. Alright, we got some more shit. Was that worth it? I used another heal. I think, I mean, we're about to, we're, it, this, this area is really easy. I'll say that much. I didn't heal a single time, I think, last time, before I got to, like, the first bonfire, if you will. Obviously, it isn't a bonfire, but. Um, yeah, we got some items from that that we can build into other items, I guess, so that's probably worth it. But yeah, these enemies, we can't see their HP, but we're gonna get a thing in a minute that's gonna make us see their HP. So that's something. There's where we have to be. Alright, when locked on, using R when holding a blah blah, switch to the... Okay, so yeah, we can switch between enemies. There you go. Alright. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, there's an item there. Medical audit. A new implant. Oh, there you go. Okay, so now we can implant that and put it over here. Uh, medical audit. So this displays enemy health gauges. So now we can see HP. Oh yeah, it tells us how to open our backpack. We can smash the things. I'm, I haven't quite really found any any items yet in any of these, so I'm not sure if it's actually worth going and going around smashing every single barrel you see. But maybe. All right, so we have to go over here to the med bay. So the med bay is the bonfire. 
default attack to your power core seems to be defective. A working power core is needed to use all your Exo Rigs features. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Please contact your Exo Rig supply officer to acquire a new power core. Well, something's happened, so they're not here, are they? So we, yeah, these are our implants. We could already see those elsewhere too. Um, you unlock more of them at higher car, uh, core powers, which we'll see once this is fixed. And this is our rig, the Creo PS01 Limited Rig, uh, which I have no idea what that means. It's custom built for the wealthy head of state, or for a wealthy head of state. Wow. So we got like a special one, because we're all not special, all right? Cool. And now we're walking for some reason. We get to interact with this in a minute as well. We got our health items back. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Are you still there? I am. Yep, right here. There we go. Your rig has been damaged. Its distress beacon has been triggered. You need to get back into the factory. All right, but I was just attacked, so that's clearly taken priority. I don't know you. I'm surrounded by dead people here. Maybe someone would like to explain what's going on. I'm sorry, I don't know. You need to get inside. Maybe you can make something to protect yourself. Operations always has a gear assembly. The rig is damaged? The rig seems to work for me. Honestly, it's the least of my problems. I mean, I can walk. Huh. Never thought I'd be able to say that again. Well, that's good to hear, but the power core is damaged. You'll have to find a new one to make your rig fully functional. How do I get to the factory? Well, okay. I'll just stroll right on over to the factory then. I certainly don't recommend walking, but there should be a maglev station nearby. They're never far from ops. Goodbye. On my way. Be careful, and don't forget to replace the power core of your rig or you're not going to get very far. Alright, lady. Screw you. Alright, so there is now this thing right here. Use the station to craft new gear and modify your current gear. You can repair and uh, upgrade your equipment. But it is currently faulty because we don't have a battery to power it or something along those lines. So we need to get the hell out of here and get ourselves a new power core. See, so again, there's smash barrels and stuff, but... Hello. Hello. Welcome, Warren. Oh, shit. So I gotta tell you, last time I walked over here, I heard like a lot of noise. I was like, what the fuck is that? But I didn't look up. I hadn't actually seen that thing before. Anyway. Uh let me just let me just have a look. We haven't got any no, we haven't got any gear yet, because we haven't actually built any stuff yet. Alright, so there's a dude there's two dudes over here, I believe. Yeah, there's one. Oh crap. That's where he's coming over. Alright, come over here, buddy. Oh shit, the guy behind us just powered up, I think. Oops, that was a bit low there. Oh, that guy's still on the floor. Oh god, what the hell? Okay. Let's murder this one over here as well. This is the final area I've been to. I haven't done anything else. Oh, that's like, stops him from doing shit. Not really using all of the dodging yet. I, I, I still gotta get used to the, all the stuff as well. Door can't be opened from this terminal. Please use terminal on the opposite side. What is this? Resident Evil? Alright, use extra lifts to reach other areas. We're gonna get rid of that at some point. It's it's useful, but the the noise is fucking annoying. Alright, there's that. We got one small pile of rare material scrap. There's actually nothing else here. This is like a dead end. It's just a reward for going up there. There's something below us somewhere, though. Is that it? Yeah, it's, that's it right there. Oh god! Oh my god, I took so much damage. Well. I missed that button completely. Very smart. Alright. Well, locked on, move the direction of to target any body parts. So this is the, the thing about this game is... You can... You can um, target different kinds of body parts. And you can see the, the yellow stuff is armored. The blue... 
like the head, is unarmored. So if you hit armor, unarmored, you are more likely to stagger the opponent, you do more damage, things like that. But you don't get any special gear. Like, if I were to go for his right arm, which the game currently is telling me not to, so I'm not, I'm not going to, but later on, if I go for an arm or something, I can actually get the piece of armor that he's wearing and then use it myself once I repair it. So it's pretty, pretty cool system. The blocking is interesting, actually. Alright, so he's gone. And then he goes on fire for some reason, because he just short... short circuits or whatever. That noise, it is what I mean. Like, it's useful, but it's... Just, it keeps fucking going. Was there an armor, an item over here that I could have gotten? Yeah, there is. I can't That's an audio log. They just fired Dr. Chavez. After the years of hard work and dedication she's put into this company. I, I suppose that's what you get when you stand up for your convictions. The worrying thing is, she's right. I've seen the death. We've got to keep working, now more than ever. Lesser people would give up, but she's not one of them. And, and if she won't, I won't. Oh my god, that was sick. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Alright. Let's get this item right David, here. Why don't you Another listen? audio log. You need to upgrade your power core or replace it, otherwise you ain't getting through that door. If you keep trying to overload it without the proper power capacity, security is gonna end up all over your ass. We've come too far to get caught now. We've implants over a thousand. This is our golden ticket out of here, man. Don't screw it up. Uh, was he talking specifically to me? Because it was an audio log, yet he sounded sp like he was being very specific about it. Hello! Alright, attack his head again. Oh god, didn't mean to do that. I like how fast you are, it's very Bloodborne-ish. More so than Dark Souls itself. Like, how, in how fast it is. I guess Dark Souls 3 was pretty fast, too. I never played it myself, actually, though, to be fair. Return to the med bay to restore your exo rig's full function functionality. Alright, I believe there's an item back here. There is indeed. One small pile of metal scrap. I think there might be something, like, yeah, over there or something. I just can't get to that yet. So we need our, um, our suit fixed before we can do this. Otherwise, it just goes like this. Because we haven't got the power. Right. What the hell was that? I thought I heard noise. Anyway, uh, so that is that. Let us run back. Oh, there's an item right there I missed. What was that? A new implant acquired. Ooh. 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 Now this is plus 10 HP. Increases maximum health, scales with core power. So the higher our core power is, the higher HP we get. But it takes two core power consumption, which I think we have to put this in... At the med bay, we can't put it in randomly, I believe, because it costs uh, core power. Shouldn't you be at your designated work site? Shut up! All right, med bay. So this also like Bloodborne, and well, like Dark Souls, it refreshes the enemies or resets the enemies. I guess I should say. Use the medbay to bank your collected tax scrap. If the total amount of tax scrap you own banked or collected is high, is high enough, you can level up the core power of your exo rig. All equipped gear and implants consume a portion of your total core power. Right, so we can increase it right now, which will basically level us up. Um, and now we can implant our... So what are we at right now? So we're, Core power consumption is 3 out of 11, so once we get to 15, we get this one, basically. Um... We can bank the rest of our tech scrap as well. I might be able to use it. I can actually level up once more, so I might just do that. But first, we have available Mechanized Counterweight V version 0.9. So this increases our crush damage, slash damage, thrust damage, and energy consumption. That's a lot of energy consumption. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Um, we can also put in the increased maximum HP, and this one's already and this is our heal. So we can choose, or we can get rid of something. I, I want to be able to see enemy health gauge, there's no way, no two ways about that. Um, increasing health, plus 10 is useful, it, it's an extra 10% basically, or just increasing damage. Um, definitely want the HP one. Or do I want that one? I don't know if I want the HP one. It's actually an interesting question. Uh, I definitely want the heal. 
I definitely want that. Like, this one's annoying, but it's still, it's pretty useful too, so I think I'm gonna keep it for now. Let's, um... Let's not increase our damage. Let's just keep it at that. Oh, right, we can level up again, though. To database restored. Now able to Checking overcharge database. power circuits. Gear voucher detected. Oh, I have a gear voucher, right? Because gear of the... Redeemed. I was given a copy by the developers, and it had some DLC with it. So I guess we got that, too. Which gives us some schematics that we can build. I don't think we got anything useful, really. Or uh, nothing that we can use right now, I should say. I can get another couple hundred or thousand... Tax crap from getting rid of those items, which is probably not a bad idea. Uh, we have some... Uh, oh, these are the audio logs? Okay, and then gear, right? We have a right arm. We have a rhino arm gear, which gives us some more defense, uh, higher stability, or has high stability, core power consumption free, so we gotta be careful of that. Impact plus 30% and attack speed minus 4%. So we're gonna take that. And this gives us stamina consumption increased. Uh, core power consumption increased as well, which actually maxes out at 11, uh, but it does give us plus 10 defense. Right, so there goes that. And then we have, uh, oh cool, like a full screen. We have, um, in the gear assembly, we can see the gear that we can build, so we can craft new gear. New gear parts can be created from, or crafted from schematics by holding A when uh, required components are available. So you can see this costs 788 tax scrap. And that one costs 985. I believe these are basically the ones we have, but we can put them on our other arm and leg as well. So it might be useful getting those. The gear assembly automatically deconstructs your salvage items into crafting components. You can also bank ops uh, your tech scrap here. Use tech scrap and crafting components to craft and upgrade your gear. Upgrading equipment increases its mark. Upgraded weapons will do more damage in combat, and upgraded armor will increase defense. Makes sense. So you can see here, like, we can upgrade it to cost a ton, but then, it, like, the mark goes up, but it's not really particularly useful right now. Um, so it wouldn't be too bad of an idea to build both of these, I don't think. So maybe I should use some of those consumables. Um, use the 400 one. And that one, is that enough? How much have we got now? 15 to 65. Let's use one more, I think. Maybe we should have done the math first, but we can always bank the rest of it anyway. So we can build this. Uh, oh no, I need more force regulators and pneumatic healing helix marks as well. I messed that up. I can't actually build those yet. Right, never mind that. In that case, what we'll do is um, we'll just increase our core level once more, twice more, three times more. We can just bank it. We don't have to use it, but if I upgrade it twice more, I guess we can get... Yeah, that makes more sense, actually. We get another implant, which means that we can now get the damage increase as well. Alright. Uh, yeah, there we go. Cool. So now we have it all, except for the extra armor. Good stuff. You know, this is actually a, uh, a good place to end it, I suppose. Smash these boxes. See if we get anything from them. Nope. Oh, there's one more. Smash that one, too. What? There's an item in brown here. What the hell? Well, obviously I can't get to it. But anyway, yeah, I'll leave the first episode here. Quite enjoying it so far. Um, but then again, we've only fought the worst enemies in the game, so... Who knows how much worse it's going to get soon. For now, though, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, have a good day and goodbye.